Hello, today I would like to explain about the economic conditions and trends, which is a part of a component in the context of actuarial work. The focus of this subtopic is the involvement of actuarial practices in the economic environment, where it roughly shows how actuary implement their knowledge and principle to devise a better solution and plans. Next, for the learning outcome of this subtopic is Firstly, we can understand the interplay between economic conditions and actuarial practices, where some of economic activity may directly or indirectly affect the area of actuary expertise. Secondly, we can briefly describe the economic variables or trends that will influence the choice of assumptions. By knowing how these economic variables will greatly affect the future experience of financial institutions or schemes, we can anticipate how it might change in the future, and use the past experience as a guidance in developing model of the risk process. Current economic conditions and future trends can have an impact on areas where actuaries are involved. Actuaries employers or clients are often financial institutions or schemes, whose future experience will be greatly affected by economic conditions and their changes over time. There are a range of factors that will influence the choice of assumptions to forecast future cash flows, arising from the business of financial institutions or schemes. To put it likely, these factors are external forces in the sense that they are usually outside the actuary's control or context of work. In the dynamic world, these forces change over times, can create downside risk, threats, or upside risk, opportunities. Being able to recognize, understand and anticipate the external forces is a critical capability for an actuary. Thus, by understanding the basic principle of actuarial work, we get to apply those knowledge in a range of different situations. Economic variable like investment earning rates can influence the investment returns for investment and saving products. Any investment portfolio will be in a risk position when the economic situation is not stable or changed. This is due to the changes in rates where it can become more profitable or bring more losses. Next, inflation rates is an economic variable that will influence salary inflation for defined benefit retirement plans and expense inflation for long-term fixed premium insurance policies. Inflation is one of the expense risks where it's produce the future uncertainty that creates the needs for actuarial expertise. Most actuarial works concern a risk-bearing issues, like insurance policies or a benefit retirement plans. If inflation were to happen, it will become a new task for an actuary to review the premiums rates and benefit funds of a client. While some others influences can be less obvious in the context of actuarial work, such as insurance claims which are significantly affected by economic factors. Next, Changing demand and supply conditions will affect the prices of goods and services, which then influence the cost to the insurer of claims for the repair or replacement of damaged or stolen property. Apart from that, exchange rate movements can also affect cost of claims on property insurance policies. For example, insured imported vehicles will be faced with claims based on repair costs that depends on currency exchange rates due to imported replacements parts. In addition, in times of recession, unemployment rates will increase. This can cause rises of claim cost for personal injury under workers' compensation insurance due to injured employees cannot be brought back to work on alternative duties. Period of recession also will lead to business failures and higher interest rates, which may encourage more theft and arson. Along with that, the economic structure of a country's population is also an important aspect, where countries with a high proportion of middle-income families will support a diversity of financial service providers. Additionally, mortality rates can also influence the economic trends. Researchers have reported that mortality rates increase when incomes fall following an economic crisis that cause reduced in incomes of the population. It will lead to less spending on food, medicines and services. In conclusion, this is to prove that the need for an actuary to be able to see various dimensions of the problems that involves the external forces, such as economic conditions and trends. Important for an actuary to always be aware and monitor the economic trends to implement a more effective solution for the risks. If you need any more information, kindly refer the following reference. That's all from me. Thank you.